This is Lake with Metro's Outreach Team, and I am here to welcome you to our Climate Justice Action video. Now, to get you started, I would love for you to have something to write with, like a pen or a pencil, and you're gonna need maybe a piece of paper folded in half, or you could get a notebook that has two blank pages. And I wanna dig in a little bit to think about what climate justice means. So on one side of your paper, will you write the word climate? Draw a circle around it. And then I want you to brainstorm the first five words that come to your mind when you think of the word climate. So maybe you thought about climate change or the ecosystem or environment. Maybe you thought about weather or rain, the atmosphere. On the other side of your paper now, I want you to write down the word justice and draw a circle. Then I'd like for you to write five words that come to mind when you think of the word justice. Maybe you thought about laws or government or judges or fairness or community. Now we're gonna take those two words and we're gonna put them together. So when we think about climate justice, it means thinking about the climate, so our environment, the damages caused by climate change, but centering people and fair impacts on people. Because if we look around the world, it's really clear that the impacts of climate change are not distributed fairly and equally on all of us. Most of the strongest impacts of climate change around the world are felt by communities of color and lower income communities. So that's also a reason why some of the strongest climate action and advocacy is coming from these communities where people are being hit right now and saying, I wanna see a response to this. So I would love to introduce you today to a few really incredible climate justice advocates. I have two questions for you that I want you to try to write down for each one. What action did they take? And how did their action help fight climate change? The first person I want to introduce you to is Doria. Doria helps people in her neighborhood learn to grow food on small farms in the city. Khan lives in Portland, Oregon, and helped organize the community to pass a law that makes the richest businesses put money into renewable energy and green jobs for people. Mishka is a high school student who wrote a policy with her friends to put a limit on carbon emissions in Utah, and every single lawmaker voted to pass it. Jackson raised money with his neighbors to install solar panels in over 100 homes. Simone organizes campaigns to get universities to stop paying money to fossil fuel companies and to stop getting money from them. Her divestment campaign has taken almost $14 billion away from fossil fuel companies. LaDonna helped fight construction of an oil pipeline across land of the Standing Rock Sioux Tribe using lawsuits, nonviolence, and social media to spread the word. Lucy works with 8,000 other students to write letters, hold rallies, and skip school to raise awareness about climate change. Arturo is creating solar-powered lamps and refrigerators, installing wind power, and supporting small farms in Puerto Rico after Hurricane Maria. Henry builds solar air heaters and solar panels and cares about creating jobs for local Lakota people in his community. Mika is a Pacific Islander who led a group that paddled handmade canoes into the water to block coal ships from leaving the harbor. Vic, with 20 other young people, is suing the U.S. government. They argue that the big damages caused from climate change violate our rights in the Constitution. Jamila created murals in her community to teach people about climate change, and she uses art as a form of activism. Katie and 200 other young people delivered letters, told stories, and sang songs in the halls of Congress to demand renewable energy and good jobs to fight climate change. She even got arrested. All right, hopefully you learned a little something new. You got to meet some new climate change activists. Will you take just a second, think about who you just met and either write down or share with somebody nearby you, a person who stood out to you, who you thought was doing something very interesting or exciting. Now I'm gonna turn it back to you. I would love for you to make a list of three to five things that you do well skills you have. And when I say skills, it could be you're a great writer, it could be you're a great artist, maybe you're really good at sending messages on social media and organizing all of your friends to do something. That's a skill. So write down three to five skills and then I want you 
to imagine you're on that wall. Your photo's up there, someone's reading your profile, what does it say? So take a minute, use those skills that you just thought about and write down what would your climate action be that you did to make a difference? And I'd love to see what you come up with.